Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. We pretty much know that no matter what sorts of possessions we own, what type of presence we receive, that any type of natural catastrophe could take all those things away. At the same time, what we both regard most of the time is how much we have to have in our life to be fine. I have lived in a concept of poverty now for some time, much longer than I anticipated. But I can tell you that I have pursued every organization in this little community to try to gain help to get myself out of the challenges that I'm in. But what I have found is that most of them help a different type of target demographic than me as a man. And openly, I also know that the stalker who was pursuing me in Indiana has come across the state line and ruined many things for me here in the end. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and the betrayals in a birth family are never something that can be repaired depending on what they're like is not true, depending on whether or not the people who did the betraying are willing to see themselves in any way. You see, many people do things and they forget the extent to what they've done. They forget that they stood, stood in a court of law, law and spoke against someone as if they were unwell. They did that for their own selfish gains. They did that to produce records that were not theirs at all. And openly they did it to cause someone to fall. They wanted to create a failure in someone. They wanted to say, see, that's a failure. You failed in your life. You aren't good at this. There's no way you're this. At the same time, we have people outside of those relationships being helpers in the abuse of those people when they call police officers because someone just doesn't want to go out of a house today because they're tired and they're emotional in every way. And the calling of seven officers to a home is a ridiculous display of useless overusage of authoritative power on behalf of a mayor in any city on any given fucking day. The liars of America are like that. They forget the abuses they've doled out. They try to put estrogen in food. They try to ruin food. They try to make it so that you overslept. And openly they don't understand that melatonin is not for theirs to dole out. Now if I talk about these things people won't want to believe those things but if we're a self-protection provider like I once did as a part of my life through my business positive impact martial arts I have to tell you that people do not understand how to be fully safe today because in America especially in the Midwest we are incredibly naive about what is happening around our communities today we don't need our children to be fearful, but we do need to be, have them be aware. And the finding of balance of how to get a child to recognize when they shouldn't be on their cell phone, when they should be on their phone, and what they're doing and how much it could cause them legalo, le, sorry, legal problems, legalities, or what could provide them lethalities. Because they walk into a restaurant, they want to try something alone, and they get screwed and tainted food. 